Hey everybody, this is Big Wigs, and welcome back to Tomba! PlayStation 1 game thingamajig. I have audio now! And also, I haven't figured out how to lower the volume, so I'm not even wearing headphones. I can just hear them through the headphones when they're not in my ear. So anyways, we got the last time here we got the evil pig bag, and he tells us, Hey, you should go do the thing, go to Phoenix Mountain. And Phoenix Mountain was actually way of a meow. You guys doing alright? I'm doing alright. Yeah, I just have these like around my neck, touching my cheek, the headphones. I really apologize that uh, you're going to be hearing me singing songs a lot. That's fine though. We come all the way up here. We should be mostly done with everything we need to do in this area. We're just gonna swing on ya. Get out of here. Get out of here. We don't want that man messing with us, even though he's not really a man. We're gonna come over here. We're going to Phoenix Mountain. Also, the mushroom forest. The forest shrooms. Thunder flop down. Whoop. Our thunder flop messed up. We wanted to thunder flop down on that hundred year old chest. One ups. Whee. Wait, was this the area that gave you more leaf butterflies? Was it? Whatever, it probably wasn't. Now we switch perspectives again. Also, the loading screen. I love the loading screen. So this man will let us pass Phoenix Mountain. Phoenix Mountain is this way. But the mountain is up ahead. Storm Mountain, dangerous strong words. But he's saying, I don't want to guard this place. It's really boring. Gives him time to practice his acting. He wants to be an actor and make people laugh or cry. But he doesn't really know how to express his emotions. That's what he just said. So he wants us to show him the world's greatest smile. Well, as you can see, Tomba is emotionless due to all of the murdering he's done. So, we'll just have to make him happier. How do you do that? You come over this m mountain. Air quotes, mountain. It's basically like blocks. And we come over here. This flower is awful. You can't kill unless you jump on him. Out of here. But when you try to jump on it, it basically closes. I actually don't like this area that much, but it's, it's kind of a cool area. You can jump up here. Watch out for the spikes, but you'll be also attacked by jellyfish. Get out of here. That doesn't do anything. You have to throw them into each other. I might attempt that later. It's actually a much easier way to level than this. God damn it. So we just eat one of these? Is this happiness? Yep. Yeah, that's creepy. Oh god. The audio! So creepy! So actually, what this does is randomly now, while we're running about, we'll start laughing. If he'll show us. No. Well, also, your attack, instead of doing a boomerang, I now laugh. <laughs> we'll just come down here. Hello, sir. I laugh in your face. Never mind. Wait. There we go. Press square. The expression. Marvelous. I've learned the ability to smile. Except I haven't. So now we talk to him again. He's like, ah, maybe uh, if there's still something missing, why don't you try? Why don't you try being sad now? The world's greatest pout. Let me just come over here and we do the exact same goddamn thing. You see, I didn't press any buttons, I just did that. Get the fuck out of here. And it's this one. If you notice, the vines actually lowered a bit in the background there, so um, this actually raises and lowers platforms, so getting the right one is important. And sadness is by far the worst sadness ailment I've ever been inflicted with in game. Because randomly in the platformer, um, you'll now run forward and cry. That happens randomly. See? I didn't do that. God. I didn't do that one either. Stop! Press square on him. And we just, you just cry in his face. That's a face that sings sorrow. And there's like, yes, I feel like I can act with this. Yay! Forgot. The elder just went towards the mountain. He wanted to see you about something. Oh, I just forgot. After making you go through some bullshit, 
Yeah, somebody needs you. So unfortunately, we are not cured of this status ailment. And it's like one of the few status ailments in the game. Laughing and crying. Or that we need another mushroom called a normal mushroom. God, they're so creepy. I prefer laughing, though. Although it makes monsters a little bit harder, I, I can at least do something with this. So if we come up here... Oh, shit! Grab this. Those those glowing mushrooms will be... I won't say important, but they'll be necessary later. Keep this, and we are normal! No! What's this one do? We're crying again. Oh god, am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. That's my very first death! <sighs> Try again. I'm not inflicted with it anymore. There is some treasure over here. In fact, we will explore this whole area. I think that'll make for a very nice episode. Fuck out of here. God damn you. you know, get your asses down here. Son of a bitch. Shit. That wasn't good. Now, one of these chests is actually a mushroom that lets you alternate back and forth between laughing and crying. And there's also mushrooms that let you alternate between um, curing it as well. So we'll actually nom this. Healing mushroom required. See, I'm not actually cured. It's just I have it in my inventory now. Living very Boom! Shalaka. Very important. That'll be useful later. God, I don't... I'm not sure what's down here. Hello? Jump! Oh, shit. That saved my life. And there's actually something way up here. God damn you. Which is a 1,000 year old chest. Well, tell me what type of chest it is. It's locked, yeah. Make a massive jump over here. Good sadness. We'll chomp on this. This is a big ass thing. And if we go all the way over here, you'll see how the worlds are actually all a little kind of connected. Which is pretty nice. Pretty nice, I think. We have Fisherman Man! He almost drowned us, but his turtle saved us. We meet again. You wanna ride my boat? Yep, he gives us a ride in his boat. But his black eyebrows on a boat, motherfucker. And then we l just look up here, and it's oh, it's a mysterious mansion. How could we ever find out? A familiar-looking mansion, and this this blew my mind when I was a child going into here. We'll go into that door on the left near the end of the game. We're still sad. We're crying like crazy. I'm not pressing the circle button to make him do that. That just happens randomly. We have all the different types of chests you need, so I think it's 100, 1,000, 10,000, and then either a million or a hundred thousand. But treasures from the mansion. I didn't know I had something like a quest like that. That just gives us AP points. What's the pigs doing? Yep. We're back at the beginning. That's crazy. What? Yeah, that was what I was doing when I was a small child. Thankfully, though, we have. Uh, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sort. Oh, sort it again. There we go. Charity wings. We have two charity wings. I'll just teleport to anywhere we want. We want to go mushroom forest. I think we'll get past Phoenix Mountain and wrap up the episode. We're not done with mushroom forest. There's quite a few things left to do in mushroom forest, but we've not quite got access to them. Where's too sad? Let's fix that. There are also doors in the world that allow you to. That will only open unless you cry in front of them or are happy in front of them. So it's like crying and laughing on command. And all this crazy stuff is found in that forest. The mushroom forest. 
We're going to get to our next village soon. And this is actually a pain in the ass area. Because it's, it's hard to platform through it. A stormy pigback. You just felt the evil spirit inhabiting Phoenix Mountain. So this place and the other place have been cursed by the pigs. There are always pig bags in cursed areas, but there's never the correct pig portal in each area. So we'll find a stormy pig bag somewhere in this level. It's going to be really hard to miss. But the actual stormy pig himself will not be here. Come on. I, I'm sorry. Here we go. We'll just jump up here. You see, we have people here who have eyeballs in their hats. Yeah, well, and he's just saying that they can't get past a giant bird up there. It's been a long time since he's been known as the master of the skies. Talk about the phoenix that lives on Phoenix Mountain, who will actually fly you into the jungle. We won't be doing that for a while. Hello. They're running back to the village. And you'll see why, because I'm not moving, but I'm... Yeah, you get what I'm doing. So this is area makes platforming super difficult. I think if I fall into this man, he eats me and does a bit of damage. But they actually teleport you to certain places elsewhere. So he'll throw me back over here. So I will jump on this pig man. Squash this down. And we'll actually find Charles here as well, who will help us with many things. Platforming here is just, it's one of the worst places in the game. We have a bunch of little baby egg crotch biters. We have pigs just everywhere. There we go, we got Charles out. He's so happy. Thanks, this place is terrible. The wind blew there, I got caught. And then, oh my god, my pants are torn. You can't go anywhere like this. He had an extra pair of pants, but he lost them in the wind. So his, uh, First, we found him some bananas. Now we're finding him some pants. This is a, a, a modern, independent monkey we're dealing with, clearly. These little horn things are just awful. Oop. This is go this way, so we're gonna go this way. And then we have little Bowser clones down here. Attacking them won't do much. Well, attacking them a bunch of times will do stuff. At least a little blue pig gator thing. We're gonna jump over this man. Not sure I call him a man. Might be a woman. Woo. We'll jump to this area and we'll find a digger diggy hole. I'm kind of busy right now. I can't tell you. I'm digging a tunnel. No one can dig as well as I can. The famous digger. Quest left, right, and center. There's nothing gonna go dig somewhere else. So, oh, enemies respond when you step on the screen. Keep forgetting that. We'll go more to the left a bit, just cause. See, laughing face. And then danger. I got moved. And the wind dies down, so we have to beat the evil pig back before this door unlocks. And then, of course, once again, we come down here. Smile. This is also the area where we find uh, the dogs healing majiggers. Potions. Ooh. Leap over this man. Yoink. Healing herbs required. So the dog will need that. And the dog will also need the, uh, some other things that we actually probably... God damn you. We have no choice but really to be eaten by this man. So, I think he swallows us. Yes! And he spits us out here, which is right into somebody else's mouth. Did I get damage from that? I don't think I did. That leads us back to the beginning. So, yes. Oh, no, no, no. Fuck. Oh my god. No! Oh my god. So this area I think is the worst part. In which case you'll see a little platform over there. Let's land on. And this platform. 
then this platform, and then up here. It took me like a whole day to do that when I first got this game. And if we come up here, this man, do we need a phoenix? Or are you trying to get to the jungle? Mm, forget it. I've heard stories of the phoenix taking people to the jungle too. That was a while ago, and the, the phoenix is weak. So Tom was like, man, I don't need the phoenix to be strong. I'm gonna ride it anyways. Man, beautiful. Yes. He's like, get the fuck off! Also, my my pants have changed. But whatever. Probably for the better now that I've fallen off near to my death. And... We've landed in the village! The mouse pig bag. And I will explain why this is the mouse pig bag real quick. We come in here. No, that was the wrong area. Is it up here? Sorry, sorry, I lost myself. Uh, no, it's in here. So look closely at the man in the back. He's a mouse! That's weird, you're not scared by me. Well, as you can see, I look exactly like a mouse. That was a little bit spoilery, but, um... Of course, we're not really mice. The old pig has cast a spell on us. We keep big hats on so that we will not scare others. That's very kind of them. We also have really big overalls. <laughs> Favorite ask of you. I'm a collector of swords. I click all kinds of things, but I can't seem to find any cheese! So this man wants cheese. Let's say when you collect 10 slices of cheese, you come back and see me. Yes, suddenly the ultimate reward. Some cheese, please. We're gonna end the video right there. We are now in Bacchus Village. There we go, Bacchus Village. Save it, yes. And this will actually lead us into the Haunted Mansion in the next episode. So anyways, or as always, we'll save later. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day, and <laughs> goodbye.